Hello friends, this is Martin Chicken, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to a new and new episode of the Option Trading Strategy series. Um, we had looked at the double control diagram spread in the previous um, previous video on this series, and I uh, hope this that was useful. And uh, uh, today we're going to see an expiry date trading option strategy. Right? So basically, we're looking at a chicken iron contract strategy, which is made popular by the tastytrade.com. If you're not seeing you know, that website, you can just get the details. First. So we would uh, not deep dive into how to construct this much, but uh, instead we will try to simulate and see how this can be applied effectively on expiry day. How does it work? And simulate it for a period of three months. So this is how it exactly looks like. Right? So we'll be selling you know, three lots of put uh, at different strikes, 100. 100 strikes apart starting from the um, at the money, the wherever the strike is at the money is there from there. So, yeah, first 100, 200 strikes away, 300 strikes away, and then 400 strikes away, you would uh, buy the hedge portion you know, and this, this will put portion. And similar, same thing happens on the oops, uh, on the call side also. You buy 100 strikes apart uh, from the ATM. All options and we will sell it and then 400 strikes apart from the we will buy the hedge portion for all the three lots. So this three lot is balancing the one one lot of selling that we have done right? on both sides. We so fully hedge the risk defined strategy of this, right? Which it can be done on any expiry weekly or monthly. This is a popular strategy that we are applying on expiry day weekly, when we will be testing it on weekly. So basically, we are looking at a three months starting from August, September, November. Right? Basically, August, September, and October. Three months completely. You, know, you can see that it is a very volatile month. Okay? Very, very volatile. Look at the big starts in the last three months. Okay? And it had a up move from the you know, Dagon kind of level, then it had a dip, then it had an up move, then it had a dip, then it had an up move. It was very, very volatile. Right? And in spite of all this volatility, then where all the option sellers on Expedia might have had big losses, you know, we still Applying this chicken and corn strategy, you can come out with profit. Right? You can see the green, all the green arrows of expiry days that came out with profit. Right? And we just had three, four out of the 14 days of trading that we did in three months. Right? So we just traded for one day basically, although we take the push in the previous day. So this is the advantage. And this strategy is meant to be implemented, meant to be implemented in such, such volatile scenarios. That's why it's working. Right? So, Basic.com had made it popular by using it as earnings trade setup. Earnings trading is like the earnings the results of the quarterly or you know, monthly order. The results come that time, huge volatility can happen upside both sides. That is the time that they should have took this chicken and quarter that made it popular, which having uh, better gains than the iron quarter if we had applied the same such situations. And then at the same time, the loss also will be less. So if you're selling different strengths apart. On both sides, not at one single strike, right? So, basically, the rules that I'm, I'm trying to use and, you know, are as below. Then, right? where we'll be entering the previous day with expiry 3:15, and then we'll exit at the break even, or if it is 50 percent more, more than the it's not the maximum profit that then, or it is end of the day, end of the expiry, right? So, we'll not do any adjustments. Also, adjustments can be done by rolling up and rolling down the uh, non tested side, can be done. It is not worth doing it considering that it is only a single day and the premiums will be very less on expiry. The karma moves can be there, so it's not really worth doing that. We just trade it as it is, and if it comes up, then we will take the loss if it is uh, not enough paper for that, right? So, let's we are using the Opsta simulator where we are going to test all of this, right? So, we would go to the Opsta uh, simulator. So basically, what we'll do is um, so this is this is the time period, right? This is the August to November third. So three full months where we had high volatility. You know? Look at the consolidation. Look at the V-shape moves back side. Look at big V-shapes and big gap ups, multiple, you know, multiple three times gap ups. This never happened. So such volatile environment is what we are going to test. If we had tested this and understood the thing, it works in any market. Right? Because this is the worst thing that you can get. Right? The worst volatility that we can get is what we are going to So we, not, we cannot test all the 14 in the short time frame the video. So you 
just one day where it is gone wrong and one day where it, one or two days where it is gone fine let's take this example of uh, let's say <coughs> so this is the so what, what, what exactly happened here? let's say 23rd of september right so this is expired day so previous day we had we will be entering in 20 seconds and then we can see that it is a gap up and then so this will take this 20th of september right so what you want to do is you're going to september will go 23rd will take and then 22nd september we will be starting and 23rd september we will we'll go to the we will make the entry at uh, basically basically we will make the entry at 315 right so the strike price is at 17550 17550 in the sense we just go here 17550 is the ATM we will do the buying here then we will do the selling on the call side here sell one lot 650 sell another lot 750 sell another lot at 750 then buy the hedges three times okay similarly on the put side we will go 450 we will sell one lot okay. then 350 we will sell another lot 250 we will sell another lot and 150 we will buy the hedge here we have the ad corner we are a test okay. 315 on the previous day we are testing it next day it has come and you can see that it is not breached you can see that 704 704 actually 23rd is it's gone it's gone out of our control right it's 23rd september that we are testing uh, actually we tested yes 23rd september is what we are seeing and it is a red right so we lost so what do we lose here if you look at we lose just 2000 rupees yet it had breached earlier right so for what okay. one is to three is the portion that we have taken so we would have ideally have exited here 17 17 because our break even point was 17 so we would have lost only 1800 rupees and it is one out of our control and that's it right now we would take another position where so september 23rd is what we tested where we lost we will take this questions for 16 let's take another month we we'll take this question october 21st right the expiry we will end around october 20th and uh, it's actually a gap down and then a reversal hammer right so it's a kind of word so october 20th so we'll once again go back fresh there and see later 21st october we'll take 20th we'll select the 21st october we would go to the 315 of that day this is 315 on the previous day then we'll take the trade we'll look at what is the strike 18250 18250 is here 350 will buy will sell they call 450 another call will sell 550 another call will sell and 650 will buy the hedge three times Similarly, 250 we will, um, 150 we would uh, sell one lot, then 1850 we would sell one other lot, then 950 we will sell another lot, and 850 would buy the heads of three times, right? So here you have a chicken and corn dog ready for testing, right? So now we are going to test, yes. 21st, it has become the expiry day. 10 o'clock, no issues. 10 o'clock, no issues. We are actually in profit, no issues. 10 o'clock, 11.30 and 12.30, no issues, no issues. It's, one, it's 2 o'clock and it's 2.30, no issues. It's 3 o'clock. We are absolutely in profit, absolutely nothing has to be done. It's an expiry day. And we almost got everything in, right? So we saw two, right? So we saw where we failed and you know we lost little, and we saw another red day where we gained both experience, right? 
we'll pick one more date and see how we would have performed so this is let's say august 26 so we'll once again go to the options of ladder for the date august when is no we took uh, what are we doing with this okay, let's pick this uh, another date of um, august 26 right so we'll go to august 26 and august 25 is the previous day we'll go to august 26 and then we'll go to that day and before we take the train right it's 3.15 on the previous day of the expiry and here we are going to take the portion we'll get what is the ATM 16,650 hmm 650 16,650 and here we have that day we first take the call questions 750 will buy or sell one lot 850 will sell another lot 950 will sell another lot and 70 1750 we would buy the hedge of three times the lot on the call side we will do the same 550 will sell one lot then 450 will sell one more lot 350 will sell one more lot then the 250 will buy the hedge and here the chicken and corn dog is ready for testing and we have a range that is there 16 523 to 16777 right let's see what happens so we are in the expiry day no problem 10 o'clock no problem no problem 11 o'clock no problem 11 30 no problem and 12 o'clock no problem and one o'clock also no problem no problem at two o'clock also absolute no problem we must already be in good full profit we can exit any time absolute no issues greater than 50 percent of this max profit we are supposed to exit even if we don't exit and hold on pay and we are good profit and we are good so this is what you are so this is three full months from august to november third three full months and the most volatile of the months we had 14 trading days or more and then we just had four failures four losses happy losses we can call them others so all days are profitable right? in such volatile months if it is profitable you know, we can take these trades trust these on all possible scenarios right as and change these rules as per what you feel maybe you can test it for more than 80 percent less less than 30 percent or entering at 115 or doing some adjustments or you know, whichever way you know, and entering the same day instead of the previous day or previous day earlier all, all this combination can test it you can come to conclusion so the capital the profit that is shown here may be less right but you know, but it may be worth if, if your capital size is more we can increase the capital size and buy more so this three lots plus one is to three combination if you want to take one chicken and one lot the cost is on only two lakhs maximum if it is once it is uh, no sense it is a hedge position right we can increase the lot size right we can, we can increase so one lot to get in these two lots and then you know, accordingly we can have the ratios of the hedges also added increased right basically one is to see the basic minimum that is required the next thing whichever way you want so you can test all these and uh, get the confidence in private trading or actually putting the money for one lot and expand it for one year and gain the confidence and increase a lot sense right? that way you can get to, it's a one day trade imagine one day you're getting you know, this one is off right? so it's just one day one day you get this much profit it's reasonable right like, if you calculate the percentage of the total capital of two lakhs it's very reasonable and it, right so hope it helps to understand what is the kind of motor and how does it help to take the expiry trades right even when it is highly worked you can see that this which was introduced by tc trade to trade as earnings trade and you see the time when there is a lot of uncertainty and volatility on either side right so, so, so they made it popular with so now we are using it expiry most of the expiries are about that because of the down effect right so that is where it gives the result where you have less probability of losing too much and good probability better probability of winning and you know 
uh, better decay effects and all that, you know, as compared to an higher quantum, right? Because you are not buying, as, we are not selling to just two strikes. We are selling strikes which are and different strikes for up on both sides. So it can contain that loss and then it can manage and you know, get you out of profit, right? Adjustments can be done by rolling up, you know, the untested side, but it may not be worth doing that as I said before because of the single trade rate and high gamma and you know, low premiums are all available. But it's not sensitive. If it is for a multiple weeks, then you can do that. Is but for a single day, it's not worth. So this is an expiry strategy for it. expiry day only single day. All the way on June previous day. Okay. So that is. I hope this. You know, if you find it useful, if you find it useful, you can apply it to your own risk and the practice appetite. And after testing it properly, either on the live or paper. And then you can adopt that. I hope it helps. If you like it, consider hitting the like button and share it with your friends who are able to benefit. Thanks so much for watching. Happy training. Happy day. Bye.